What's up beautiful people, it's Mizgo here and in this video I'm going to walk you through five key web design mistakes that so many designers make and how we can go about fixing it. Let's take a look at our very first website, Liveform. I discovered this website on ProductHunt.com. It's a cool little tool, they've got some cool little features and it's extremely useful but upon landing on their landing page, they lack supportive imagery. They have a great headline, survey your customers in real time. But because there isn't much imagery, it feels quite dull and it also doesn't help me immediately get a better understanding of what the product actually does. So what we can do is something like this. We can add some visual flair and supportive imagery for the headline. This not only adds a bit of visual flair to the design, but it also helps the end user, the prospect, the potential customer who's going to take money out of their pockets and pay you, help them connect the dots to better understand what your product can provide them. So it doesn't have to be your standard screenshot of the actual web application, which is something you should consider as well. But if you want something a little bit more human, a little bit more delightful, it is already a step forward by putting this towards the prospect. Now the second thing, if you take a look at the original landing page, they had a carousel where they showcase one of the templates that you can use, the survey templates, and they would carousel through them over time. Now I personally hate carousel and they're so ineffective because you are hiding primary content away from the customer. You want to make sure that it is always in the forefront. Now if you've done any testing on carousels before with data, you would know that not many people ever click through or even realize that it is a carousel. So people start scrolling before it even slides to the next piece of content. So something that we can do is actually bring through those templates and add a bit of supportive text to help us explain to the prospect immediately what the value is. Instead of hiding it behind a carousel and without a headline, add a headline and make it lucrative, make it valuable, make it something that the person, that the prospect actually wants to attain immediately, right? We want to make their lives easier. 32 ready to use templates. Pick from an extensive library. Here are all the templates and showcase them. This is what the customer actually wants to see. They want to know immediately within seconds, why would I choose you? Now, the third web design mistake is I see designs which are overly justified, centered for all their content, or designers have chose to justify some content in the center, sometimes it's to the left, and it's very inconsistent. This causes a lack of structure in your designs. Now the approach for me that I personally like to use is that if I want to bring a lot of focus to, for example, the headline, the top part, the hero of the web page, I potentially might center that, but everything else below the fold, I am going to align it to the left because it just adds a little bit more structure, it's a lot more clean, and it just feels nicer to look at. All right, so onto the fourth mistake. Oh, this one gets real itchy on me because when, we, when I see icons that are not labeled, whether that is on the actual iPhone app, Android app, on a website, I always struggle to understand what these icons actually mean. Personally, I use this app called Clover for note taking. I use it because I love the simplicity of it, but I to this day still get confused on which icon I should be clicking on the iPhone app. So it doesn't really require too much work. Add some supporting text to your icons, or if you wanted to create some interactivity, if you hover over the sidebar, it could fade in or it could slide in a new little panel with the text, with the supporting text on it. Always have text supporting your icons because it's not intuitive for the end user. Now the last mistake is oversimplified designs. Now don't get me wrong, sketch.com, they've done a phenomenal job on their product. They've got some of the world's best designers on their team. But, one, but with one of their latest redesign executions, I felt like it was oversimplified and it was actually confusing to go through. If you remember this page, there was no headline, lack of CTAs, and it wasn't quite clear what the video was actually trying to explain. So if we were to improve this just by one tiny percent or even 0.05 of a percent, simply adding a headline and just giving a little bit of context on what this whole page is actually about. Here's just an idea that I threw together, a new way to sketch. This, was, this page was dedicated to sketch sort of announcing that they've got big ambitions, big plans coming up. So with really just one headline, you are able to help frame what the page is all about. So hopefully you're able to take some of these key takeaways and apply it into your own web design. 
and really move away from some of those itchy, oh, dirty little mistakes that people make in web design. All right, so I'll see you in the next video very soon.